Let's take a look at the Vikings and the Packers. Packers going to Minnesota in week one for this one. Should be a pretty interesting game in the Battle of the North. These are the two teams that most people are expecting to be the division front runners. Although the Lions, the Lions could end up being a, a pretty, you know, deep contender for this for this division. So looking at this game, another low over under 45. And right now the Vikings are actually uh, projected to win by two and a half points. It's given us an implied point total of around 24 to 21. So again, decently low score game. Now last year, the Packers were really good at uh, stopping the quarterback and they were pretty good against uh, you know preventing running backs and wide receivers for, from the scoring fantasy points. Now their linebacker core got a little shaken up and they didn't really do too much to improve their defense. Otherwise, we'll see how this turns out for them. And the Vikings lost a lot of pieces on defense. Uh, they did get uh, in Gokwe, so that, that will help them. But Daniil Hunter is not going to be healthy for this one. So I, I'm not really too concerned about the Vikings defense numbers from last year because this is a really different defensive group. And overall, I I am kind of playing the let's play against the Vikings until they prove to us that they have a pretty good defense. It's pretty young and experienced, and I would expect the Vikings to have a little bit of growing uh, pains in their defense. So I'm going to exploit that. So I think this will actually be a little bit higher scoring than Vegas thinks. That being said, these are two of the most clear-cut teams in terms of who you can comfortably start week in and week out. Obviously, you're starting Devontae Adams. You're starting Aaron Jones. There's no question there. If you drafted these guys early on, last year, Aaron Jones absolutely torched the Vikings in both weeks that he played against them. And Devontae Adams did the same thing. Their history against the Vikings is very solid. And again, this is a defense that we're expecting to regress a little bit. There's really no reason to talk yourself out of starting either of these guys. They're both both top five options this week. Maybe Aaron Jones top 10, but pretty close to top five. Uh, I'm not really that comfortable, though, starting Aaron Rodgers in this one, especially if Aaron Jones ends up getting you know, two scores, what we've seen against the Vikings. And Aaron Rodgers was very hard to trust unless he played against a very bad defense last year. He was not a good fantasy quarterback. And if they're going to continue that high run offense like we've seen for the past uh, you know, past entire year with Matt LaFleur there, I'm going to be a little bit hesitant to start Aaron Rodgers this week unless I absolutely have to. He could go off. He does have a pretty good history against the Vikings, but if it's anything like week 16 last year, you're going to be disappointed if you start Rodgers. Alan Lazard, I'm going to just play wait and see. I don't know whether it's going to be him or MBS that's the second wide receiver here, and there may just not be a second wide receiver that you ever want to start in Green Bay. Devonta Adams will could possibly get like 200 targets this year and just be the only guy in town. Uh, and then I'm probably going to be a little bit tepid about starting either defense in this game. Uh, you can if you need to, but division games and ones that I think we're going to hit the over, probably going to try to avoid that situation. And then we're not going to we're not going to get cute. We're not going to play Jamal Williams or AJ Dillon here. Aaron Jones is still the guy until they prove to us otherwise. I think they would definitely get some work, but no way that we can predict who's going to actually end up getting the majority of the touches there. So I'm going to stick with Aaron Jones and no one else. Not going to touch any of the pass catcher there. On the Viking side, assuming Dalvin Cook isn't going to pull Le'Veon Bell and not show up on Sunday. Dalvin Cook is an absolute smash start this week. Uh, absolutely dominant against the Packers last year in week one or week two. Adam Thielen as well should end up getting a ton of targets in this game. And I think he'll be able to rise above that, that good Packers secondary. Same thing. We're not going to start the Vikings defense if we can avoid it, because I think this game will have a decent amount of scoring. And we're really not going to play pat of cakes with anyone else on this Vikings team. Alexander Madison is pretty much a handcuff. And if Cook goes down, I'm not going to play Ola B.C. Johnson or Justin Jefferson. I'm not expecting this to be a high-volume pass game for them. And between Irv Smith and Kyle Rudolph, we need to see how this situation plays it out. I really like Irv Smith, but as long as Kyle Rudolph is there, I'm probably going to wait and see uh, and figure out how uh, they want to utilize those two guys and if, see if Irv Smith actually gets uh, put into the slot a bit more. So we'll play a wait-and-see game on there. But obviously, you're going to start your studs in this one and probably avoid everyone else. In terms of my prediction, I think the Packers actually win this one. Uh, we've, you know, Packers have done a pretty good job at taking down the Vikings in recent history, and I think their defense is a little bit worse. So overall, I'm going to give the nod to the Packers in this one. They take down the, the Vikings 27-21, slightly above the over. Mm -hmm.